We've already talked a good amount about raster-based graphics, which is pixel-based graphics, bitmap-based graphics. Different people would use different words for it, but the proper terminology is typically either raster or bitmap, right? And so these are the graphics where, like, you have, you have, I mean, you have graphics, right? And then when you zoom in enough, right, you start to see the individual dots, right? So you can see the individual dots, right? Now this has a pretty good resolution, right? So when we were working in Piskel, our resolution was pretty small, really, right? So you're doing like maybe 100 by 100 or 30 by 30 or 30 by 80 or whatever, right? The resolution in here, this is 600 by 400, so it's a lot more dots, right? And so when we zoom out enough, it looks pretty smooth and round, right? So we have these round shapes. But if we zoom in enough, you can see that they are squares just like in Piskel, right? So I'm showing you this graphic in Photoshop, right? And I mean, pretty much everyone's heard of Photoshop, right? So Photoshop is a raster-based software similar to like Piskel. Now, Photoshop does way more and can do way more than Piskel, but they both work with the same types of graphics. Now, I also have this pig, um, which it's a Chinese decoration for Year of the Pig, because that's our current year. I also have it loaded in... Adobe Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator is a vector-based software. So in this, if I zoom in, it doesn't get pixelated. So if you compare, blurry, not blurry, and if I zoom in more, it actually never gets blurry. So I can zoom in, I could zoom in a million times and there would still never be little squares. So that's how vector graphics, uh, that's why vector graphics are important. So this little pig could be on a business card or this little pig could be on the side of a building. And as long as the printer was a good printer, it would look perfect. It would have no blurriness or no little squares. Now this pig graphic started as a vector. It was made in Adobe Illustrator and then I saved it differently to be able to open it in Photoshop, right? So you can go from a vector-based graphic to a raster, a pixel-based graphic, but you can't go the other way. I can't take this and easily make it into this. Now, we already talked about pixels, right? So when we zoom in enough, you can see the pixels, right? The little squares. So how does vector-based graphics work? Essentially, vector-based graphics works as like having shapes. Right, so it's not saying draw a little dot of color here and a little dot of color here and a little dot of color here. Instead, you're working with like shapes. Instead, it's like draw a square here and the square is going to start at this point and it's going to end at this point and the color is going to be white with a black outline. And we can also use like a circle or something, right? So there's different shapes, right? And so this is doing the same thing. It's saying draw a circle. Here's the center point. It's going to be this big. You're going to color it white. It's going to have a black outline. So that's why, like, no matter how much we zoom in, it's always perfect because it's not drawing dots. Instead, it's actually drawing shapes. It's thinking of these things as actual objects, not as a collection of dots. So this pig is actually a pretty complicated shape. However, if I click on him, you can actually see all the little points, right? And so it's choosing points and it's drawing lines or curves from those different points. And it's really easy to edit these actually too, because since everything is sort of points and lines, I can grab points and I can move them and I can change the curves. I can also change the color really easily because since it's a shape with a color inside of it, I can easily change the color of the whole thing very nicely, including I can add an outline very easily, right? Because it's just saying add an outline to this now. Um, I could change the thickness of the outline very easily. Because everything is sort of done with points and everything is an object, it's much easier to manipulate than pixels are. So that's just sort of a little overview of the difference between pixels and vector-based software or raster type graphics and vector type graphics. And we'll talk about it some more and I'll let you actually start playing with some software that lets you create your own vector graphics.